A revolution is a fundamental and relatively sudden change in political power. An organization which occurs when the population revolts. The Marco Martins Revolution, powered by Vodcast TV. Visit VodcastTV.com for more. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the podcast. This episode of the Marco Martins Revolution is brought to you by Vodcast TV, Johannesburg's premier shared podcast studio platform. If you've ever wanted to host a podcast for yourself or your business, there's simply never been a better place to do it than right here. Visit vodcasttv.com forward slash revolution now and get yourself a discount on your first order of a podcast or podcast series. Now, I normally do have a guest in studio for a Marco Martins Revolution episode. Today, I'm going to try something a little bit different. It'll just be me and you going through what's happening. And of course, I decided to do this today because some tiger somewhere in Edenville has decided that he wouldn't let Walkerville steal the show completely for January 2023. I think maybe all those memes that we saw around Facebook about how 2023 was going to go and they just plopped the first picture of the calendar. January was a tiger and uh, that couldn't have been more appropriate knowing that we've started the month off with a tiger sighting in Walkerville uh, and a tiger attack which we'll mention in a little bit. Uh, but of course, we're ending the month of January with another tiger sighting, and this time in Edenville. And I think it's it's quite curious to see that just that slight uh, step up from Johannesburg South to the East Rand. Sorry if I offend anybody who grew up in the South. I did too. Um, but it's so appropriate that it's Edenville and Walkerville. Because if you've ever watched Tiger King on Netflix you'll have noticed that he looks like he's from Edenvale or Walkerville. Like the guy who owns this tiger that's loose somewhere in Edenvale looks just like the Tiger King, 100% guaranteed. You won't even be at all surprised that he's the Tiger King, but with a different accent, 100% is what's going on in Edenvale. The funny thing about tigers is that they'll completely change your mind on what they are as soon as you see one. I think uh, you'll see one from a slight distance and you'll be like oh okay he's cute you know a little bit like a house cat and if you've ever spent enough time with house cats you'll know that if they were just bigger they'd absolutely destroy you and just a single swipe will completely change your perception on tigers forever and uh, there was a tiger victim from the first one Uh, there's a video from e news channel of them interviewing the victim in the hospital after he was attacked by the walkerville tiger and it's absolutely not funny if you laugh during that E! News Channel interview, then shame on you. I laughed during that E! News Channel interview with the victim of the Walkerville Tiger, but shame on me. Um, but I think that's the biggest thing, is that I still would rather run into the Edenvale Tiger, although it looks like he's since been sedated, than watch another season of the Tiger King. Even Tiger King in the news now. Did you see this? I mean, Tiger did that Carol Baskin... That damn Carol Baskin uh, killed her husband. And now it turns out like her husband was never dead anyway. Like he was just a missing person. And he was found alive like now recently. Where's the news article on this? Let's bring something up. Carol Baskin claims her dead husband is alive and well, according to Cosmopolitan people. Carol Baskin said husband Don Lewis declared dead after 1997 disappearance is actually live okay this is just her saying it though where is he okay let's read news 24's article on this and and figure out what's going on tiger king fans the plot thickens as carol baskin opens up about missing husband don lewis who we'd all presumed to be dead following the events in netflix tiger king's murder mayhem and madness baskin spoke out in the 2021 interview about lewis's whereabouts but it would appear the clip has since resurfaced. Baskin told this morning, they said my husband, which means Homeland Security, Don Lewis is alive and well in Costa Rica, and yet all of this drama has been made about me having something to do with his disappearance, when Homeland Security has known where he is. 
She added Tiger King 2 producers also presented her with a letter that appears to be from Homeland Security confirming Don was alive. She reached out to the FBI wanting a copy of said letter. I want to know what that letter says because part of it was redacted and I don't know who the people involved were. Anyway, okay, that's terribly uninteresting now. Like we wanted her to actually be a killer so that he could... That damn Carol Baskin. If you've not watched Tiger King on Netflix, do yourself a favor and don't. Just don't do it. It's uh, a waste of time. People were entertained during the pandemic about this crazy guy just sprouting off nonsense on his little YouTube TV show thing. And, and then his boyfriends and husbands and it just got super crazy. So the Tiger King. I wonder if there would be a Tiger King in Edenville. Like if we find out who this guy is, who this Edenville Tiger King is, where his tiger's missing from and how many tigers and exotic animals he has. Um, I wonder how many the guy from Walkerville has, which was funny because he was Russi Erasmus and not the rugby coach Russi Erasmus. He just shared a name with the guy and it's created so much confusion that people are like, what the hell is this rugby coach doing letting his tigers out? Anyway, I think I find it funny though, having lived near Edenvale, I think if you were to, like South Africa is one of very few countries in the world where if you were to spot a tiger next to your window while stopped at a traffic light, you'd just be relieved. You know, you'd be immediately startled like, oh, what's that next to me? Oh, okay, it's just a tiger. I'm safe. It's better than the usual suspects at an intersection around Edenvale. So what are we going to do about tigers heading loose? What's, what's going to be the thing for February? That's what's interesting, right? Andrew Tate went to jail. Uh, the, the, the young girl from, from Sweden... I forget her name, the climate activist, Greta Thunberg. She also went to jail. She's not a human trafficker, though, so less of a big deal for her. Um, But what's going to be the February thing? You know, like if you look at South Africa, what's going to be our thing? We started off off strong with tigers. We've got two tigers now. One wasn't killed, luckily. One does look like all the news is saying that he's been sedated and he's going to be taken to some sort of tiger sanctuary. What are we going to do for February? You know, and this is always the thing as a South African, if you travel abroad, it's like, they're always like, oh, do you guys just have tigers and lions just roaming around in the streets? You know, we're always like, no, no, we don't. Yes, we do. We do now <laughs> for what's left of the streets. My goodness, that's the other thing. You know, we, everyone's obsessed with ESCOM and power at the moment because we can't watch our favorite Tiger King documentaries on our TV. We have to sit in our phone, on our phone rather, in the dark, using all our MTN data to watch the Tiger King of Edenvale coming soon. Let's find him. Anyone who knows who owns that tiger, let's find him. Let's pitch a show to Netflix. They buy anything anyway. So we could do like a really great Tiger King, South Africa thing. Maybe there's some money in this. Someone look into that. But Greta Thunberg went to prison. Let's see why she went to prison. And she's like almost a a post-millennial pet peeve, isn't she? Like everyone who's a little bit older, like the older generation of millennial especially, and then like baby boomers, can't stand her because she just like went ranting at the UN about you're destroying our futures with your pollution, all sorts of crap, really angry. Uh, Let's see, Greta Thunberg arrest. Here's what we know about Greta Thunberg's allegedly staged arrest in Germany. Okay, France24.com, The Observers. Swedish activist Greta, oh my goodness. I will not sign up for personal data stuff from you. Let's see, CNBC, maybe they'll be more accurate. Greta Thunberg arrested at German coal mine protest, which will be freed later, said police. This was on January 17th. Climate campaigner Greta Thunberg was detained with other activists during protests against the demolition of the German coal village of Lutzerath. The Swedish activist was held while protesting at the open cast coal mine of Gosvila. I'm going to stop pronouncing German things. The entire group was released later in the day, according to police. Yeah, they were just getting protesters away from the uh, from the scene from the from this coal mine. I wonder if her 
and Andrew Tate's because they've been having a whole little twiddle war if they were to bump into each other in prison, how that would go. Because prison, prison has no rules. There's no rules in prison. So Andrew Tate can lose on Twitter, but I don't think he's going to lose to Greta Thunberg in, twi- in prison. Although she seems super angry. If you've ever met like a really short, angry girl, you actually might have some confidence in her winning that fight. Anyway, I think that's a rant over. I think this has been a good first episode. Thank you so much for joining me and tune in again next time. Remember to subscribe below uh, and get notifications. If you are on YouTube, if you're on any of the audio uh, platforms, just subscribe, maybe leave a review if you can. I'd really appreciate it. But for me, for now, it's goodbye. Goodbye.